as if this could not get any worse, Danny, you're dead ass wrong. Dead ass wrong for the way you treating this man. After chasing you, you giving him nonchalant answers, he finally decides like, look, okay, we're going to try to figure this out. What you want to do? You like, okay, yeah, y'all come back. And this is how you treat the man. The way you hound this man down when he was on a date just for you to treat him like this when you got him. He talking about where's the gift. She's talking about, oh, I left it at work. And then she acting all nonchalant like she don't care just for her to get the crying when he leave. No, ma'am. If she didn't want him anymore, she could have just told him that instead of just kind of leave him wondering, like, what's going on. I feel like some of the stuff he was saying was some real shit and he was being real vulnerable, but she was acting like she didn't care or didn't want to hear it. And when he says, okay, I'm finna leave, she's talking about, okay, run like you always do. You're being manipulative. Because why would he stay if you're not trying to have a conversation or not trying to figure it out? But then when he leave, he's leaving like he always do. Girl, bye. Then Sabrina comes over. She's talking about, I didn't think he was going to leave. Girl, I thought he was always going to be. That's why you was treating him like shit. And he wasn't. And he should leave. Because you did wrong. Now, this was very unfortunate because not only is he's abusing their son, well, his son, he's also abusing the woman. And it's like, you know you can't do nothing about that because she's always going to choose him, even though he's hurting both of them. But at this point, honestly, they should just go through the legal way and try to get custody of the child. I mean, he got so many bruises and other stuff that they can easily prove neglect. My thing is, when they came over to the woman's house, there was no real solution. Like, they just kept repeating themselves over and over again. I don't, I didn't see any resolve with them. Like, they don't know really how to come up with a, okay, let's try this, let's try this, let's try this. They just kept repeating the same things over and over again. And, of course, the mother got frustrated and just eventually kicked them out. Now, when it comes to Karen and the contractor, he gives me set up vibes. And did y'all peep how he got angry that she didn't want to ride in the car with him? Talking about some why not? I don't know you. That's why. I don't have to explain nothing to you. And it's given she is because they get to the car, to the back of the truck. She's talking about what is this, girl, the toys that you called for Tima for. What do you mean? And then she's all surprised. Like, he surprised her with, no. She needs to be calling for Tima to look over their contracts because I know it's some faulty mess in it. I feel like Karen was just missing the cues. Missing the cues, baby. She should have been up out of that parking lot in five minutes after the way he was acting. He was just doing too much. But I really love her reaction with her and Fatima when they did call. She went to give him toys. I love it. They need to keep it that way. And it's unfortunate that she still is in love with him. Um, let it go. You met him when he had a wife. I don't, I don't know what you thought it was gonna, let's just keep going. But this, <laughs> now I knew it wasn't gonna be real long, but dang, I don't even think she got to the money yet. And I was waiting on her to play him though. I'm not gonna lie. Cause the way he harassed her and kept messing with that girl, I understand why Fatima wanted to set that man up. And it's crazy because she don't know. She don't know. So now she's on the opposite end. So, y'all, we're going to see what happened next. Make sure y'all follow my YouTube, Dark Skin Queen 2.0, where I post three to four videos a day. Yeah, let's get it.